Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to combine multiple reducers. When the state of your app begins to grow more complex, it may be tempting to divide state into multiple pieces. Instead, remember that the first principle of Redux, all app state is held in a single state object in the store. Therefore, Redux provides reducer composition as a solution for a complex state model. You define multiple reducers to handle different pieces of your application state, then compose these reducers together into one root reducer. The root reducer is then passed into the Redux create store method. In order to let us combine multiple reducers together, Redux provides the combine reducers method. This method accepts an object as an argument in which you define properties which associate keys to specific reducer functions. The name you give to the key will be used by Redux as the name for the associated piece of state. Typically, it is a good practice it is a good practice to create a reducer for each piece of application state when they are distinct or unique in some new way. For example, in a note-taking app with user authentication, one reducer could handle authentication while another handles the text and notes that the user is submitting. For such an ap application, we might write the combine reducers method like this. So our root reducer is equal to redux.combine reducers, and within here we're passing in an object with a key value pair of auth and authentication reducer, and then notes and then notes reducer. Now the key notes will contain all the state associated with our notes and handled by our notes reducer. This is, this is how multiple reducers can be composed to manage more complex application state. In this example, the state held in the Redux store would then be a single object containing auth and notes properties. Uh, there are counter reducer and auth reducer. So here we have counter reducer, and here we have auth reducer. Functions provided in the code editor, along with a Redux store. Here's our Redux store. Let's stretch this out so it's easier to read. Along with our Redux store. Finish writing the root reducer. So they've already started it for us here. The root reducer function using Redux got combined reducers method and assign the counter reducer to a key called count and auth reducer to a key called auth. Okay, so we're really just going to basically copy this. We want to go Redux dot combine reducers here. Reducers. And then inside of there, we're going to pass a um, an object, and we want to say we want the um, so we want to go count is equal to counter reducer, and then and because we're doing an object, we're going to go comma, and then we're going to create another key value pair of auth, and we're going to make that auth reducer. And uh, yeah, I think that this will pass the tests. Uh, let's go through here and see what's going on. We're creating a global increment object in which we set increment equal to a string of increment and a global um, decrement uh, variable set to the string of decrement. We're creating a constant called the counter reducer. And this reducer basically takes in an action.type and it says if it's increment, then we increment the state plus one. If it's decrement, we decrement the state plus one. And if the action type is not uh, increment or decrement, then we just return the state. And so we don't do anything in that situation. We have another set, a constant uh, variable called login, which is a global variable set to a string of login. Same thing, constant variable log out is equal to the string of log out. And then we have our second reducer. And this reducer takes in the state and an action. If the action.type is equal to login, which is essentially the string of login, then we say authenticated to true. Then we change the authentication, the authenticated key in the state from whatever it was to true. And then if it's log out, we change it from whatever it was to authenticated false. If uh, the type is say nothing, nothing specifically, say it is increment, then we just pass in default and we return the existing state. And then what we do here is we just combine these reducers using this redux.combine reducers in which we have our root reducer, 
when we create our store, we we want to create. Well, we're just setting it so here, so that we're combining these both of these reducers um, with the key values um, saved, in which we have our key and their uh, corresponding um, reducer function saved in the root reducer. And then finally, we create our store so that it has both of the reducers in it saved as a single root reducer. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.